up Cine Daisies. welcome back i'm achara kirk joined by carolina sophia and we are checking out some comedy today this is a dog's stand-up comedy by akash gupta super super duper funny funny guy i'm super excited to check this out i love akash gupta i think he does some really really good comedy so i am excited for you um since this is your first time watching some comedy from him right i don't think i, think, you've seen... I don't know yeah i don't think so okay well if you you enjoy our video don't forget to subscribe click the bell icon all notifications and upvote this video also um go ahead and uh, click on the link in the description subscribe to akash gupta and like his video subscribe yes i said it everybody it's like oprah up in here we're subscribing everywhere everyone gets a subscription okay let's get into this in my life a lot of things are like cute but i don't have any problem with cats क्योंकि हमारे बीच में एक अंडरस्टैंडिंग होगी है कि हमारी बनने नहीं वाली तो तू अपने स्पेस में रह मैं अपने स्पेस में रहता हूँ ये प्रॉब्लम है कुत्ते पालने वाले लोगों से क्योंकि ये मानना ही नहीं चाहते कि किसी इंसान को कुत्ते से भी डर लग सकता है ये एक्सेप्ट ही नहीं करना चाहते यार और क्योंकि ये जब कुत्ता पालते हैं इनका तो उसके साथ एक इमोशनल कनेक्ट बन जाता है ना ये हमारे घर का हिस्सा है खबरदारी से कुत्ता बुलाया मेरे जिगर का टुकड़ा है हमारे तीन बच्चे हैं राहुल अक्षय शैम्पू अजीब तरीके से बातें कर रही है शैम्पू आकाश भैया आए हैं आपके ब्रदर बोलो भैया Shampoo, mama getting angry. Mm, shampoo. Or oh, shampoo, I'm better. I'm saying I'm a cute guy. I'm cute. ये सब करने की जरूरत नहीं थी ना. Normally बात करो. बाकी बेटों के साथ कर रहे हो आप ये सब. यार वो प्यार में अंधी है उसके यार. उस दिन कहती. Shampoo जाओ. Akash भैया को घुमा लो. Okay. और मैं इस पे भी जज नहीं करता हूँ यार पर एक लेवल पे इनका प्यार इतना अंधा हो जाता है कि ये अपने कुत्ते की कोई गलती ही नहीं मान सकते ये एकदम ही डिनाइल में चले आते हैं आप कभी भी इनको जाके बोल दो कि आपके कुत्ते ने मुझे तंग किया कौन हमारा कुत्ता है हमारा कुत्ता है हमारा डॉगी किसी को कुछ नहीं कहते मुझे तो लगता है तुमने ही कुछ किया होगा वो तुम पे ब्लेम डाल देते हैं यार मेरी कॉलोनी में भी ऐसे लोग हैं वो ना रात को बारह बजे कुत्तों को पॉटी कराने निकलते हैं सड़कों पर 250 ग्राम का बंदा और 250 किलो का कुत्ता घुमा रहा है कुत्ता हाथ से छूट रहा नहीं संभल रहा है वो पट्टे को भी ना मांझे की तरह हाथ में चार बार ले रखा है ऐसे पर मानेंगे नहीं नहीं बेटे कुछ नहीं कह रहा oh कुछ नहीं कह कुछ कह ही नहीं रहा बेटे आपको मैं आंटी आपको देख के कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं आ रहा है और जो चिकन उसे डाल रहे हो पहले खुद खाओ आपको ज्यादा जरूरत है फिर मुझे ब्लेम करिए तुम डरा रहे हो तुम I feel like this is very relatable for a lot of people in the audience right now. मेरा घुटना उसके मुंह में आंटी। मेरे निकर भाड़ दिया उसने और वो मैं जींस के अंदर पहन के आया था। आप मुझे बताइए मैं कब डर सकता हूँ? लोग मानने नहीं चाहते कि कुत्तों से डरना एक लेजिट डर है यार। No, it is. और आप देखो मार्केट में बाकी फोबियास को कितनी इज्जत मिल रही है। कोई एक पार्टी में बोल दे एक्चुअली मुझे क्लोस्ट्रोफोबिया है। Oh really? You know what? Let's take the stairs. Lift में आपको थोड़ा हम्म फील होगा। और हमने ऊपर बुला लिया। हम अंदर बैठेंगे। तुम्हें कैरियर पे बांधेंगे। खुले खुले जाओ। तेरा आपका वॉशरूम भी बहुत छोटा था। हॉल में मुद्दों मेरे। क्या प्रॉब्लम? मुद्दों? और और यही मैं किसी को जाके बोलता हूँ कि यार जब ये कुत्ता है सिंपैथी इज्जत छोड़ो लोग जज करते हैं यार आकाश हाउ इनसेंसिटिव हाउ कैन यू नॉट लाइक डॉग्स 
मैं कहा इसका आंसर मेरे पिछवाड़े पे है काफी लंबा आंसर आठ मार्क्स का विद डायग्राम मैं आंटी इतना गहरा आंसर था कि आज की डेट में मेरे दो देखना चाहेंगे आप आंसर हैं I feel like that's really awful though. Like I understand some people have a legit fear of dogs. Mm-hmm. I-, I love dogs. Me too. I mean, I used to be afraid of dogs like when I was really little because mm-hmm. we didn't grow up with too many dogs. Yeah. Like I had a small one and then it died and then I was just like afraid of big dogs because I was mm-hmm. a little kid. But then like as I grew up I was like, "Oh, we had dogs and I loved them and they're so cute and all." But yeah, I would never like try and shame someone because they didn't like my dog i just probably put my dog in another room and been like be like okay you stay in there for now i feel that but i also feel like if you're coming in my home i'm letting you know ahead of time i have a dog you can invite me over to your place and i also do feel like i hope my brother never sees this my niece has a crippling fear of any and all animals like she'll see a pigeon and freak out oh my god and i'm like maybe try introducing her to animals so that she can try to get over it because i i know that phobias are a real thing Right. But I do know that kind of what you said and, and even me like growing up I was afraid of big dogs because I wasn't used to them. Yeah. And then it took me a little bit to like ease into it. So yeah. sometimes I'm like if you're coming into my own home, figure it out. If not, maybe try exposing yourself a little bit and take it easy. But I totally get it. Like it, there's some people that will justify anything that their dogs do and it's like okay, it is on. annoying. It's like no, dude, you're a, you're a bad owner yeah. at this point. Yeah. So like especially if you're somewhere out. else. Like if you're in public and you took your dog and your dog is misbehaving, like that's on you. Me personally, I'm so obsessed with my dog. My dog can have an accident inside my apartment and I'll be like, "It's my fault. I didn't walk him when he needed to be walked." I respect other spaces. हमारा कुत्ता हमें सात बार काट चुका है रखा क्या हुआ है या वफादार वो है की तुम हो My dog bit my face once and that was it. My dad was like, dogs don't bite their owners, so that dog is gone. Now my dad said he gave it to a person who lived on a farm, but now as an adult I hear that and I go, is that dad, a true story? Did you have the dog put down or did he actually go and live on a farm? And I asked him this the last time I saw him because I remembered the story and he just smiled. He's like, Oh, I don't remember. Oh my god, cheek cheek. Oh, he does. <laughs> He's like, "Oh no, I think I think he did. Yeah, we found. Yeah, he went to a Oh, I doubt you're such a liar." Ye kaise toxic relationship mein jee rahe ho? Just grow up and move on. Jao sadak pe aur kutto se milo. To isliye maine realize kiya main inse argument nahi jeet sakta. तो मैं ऐसी जगहों पे नहीं जाता जहाँ कुत्ते होते हैं ओके, okay, गुड। क्योंकि मुझे भी पसंद नहीं है यार कोई मेरे लिए अपने कुत्ते को बांध दे या उसको रूम में बंद कर दे पर फिर यही लोग इंसिस्ट करते हैं मुझे कि अरे काम ना <laughs> मेरी माँ से हमेशा अरे काम हिल डू नाथिंग ट्रस्ट में हिल डू नाथिंग तो मैं उनके ट्रस्ट पर चला जाता हूँ <laughs> मुझे लगता है नथिंग होगा <laughs> मैं दरवाजा खोलता हूँ घुस ही जा रहा मेरे अंदर यहाँ और अगर खड़े रहो कुछ नहीं होगा गिव इट सम टाइम खड़े रहो वो उसे नहीं रोक रही वो मुझे पकड़ रही है ये कैसा अब हो रहा है मेरे साथ मैं तुम्हारे घर घुस के तुम्हारा कुत्ता जबरदस्ती चाटने लग जाऊं yeah. तो तुम मुझे रोकोगे ना या तुम उसे पकड़ लोगे शैम्पू बैठे रहे हो काश भी चाट रहे हैं कुछ नहीं होगा प्यार है इसका मैं कहा मां से मेरी छाती छील दिया उसने कैसा वाइल्ड लवर है शैम्पू आई जस्ट लव पीपल है और प्यार प्यार लोग बोलते हैं मैं उनको YouTube पे लोगों लगता है हमने पैसे लेके बिठाया हुआ तुम्हें जो ये वीडियो देख रहे हैं सच में हंस रही है 
मैंने प्लांट नहीं किया इसको एक कैमरा इनके मुंह पे मारे प्लीज <laughs> और प्यार प्यार लोग बोलते हैं मैं कहा मासी प्यार आपके लिए क्योंकि वो आपका कुत्ता है मुझे तो डर लगता है ना यार ऐसा तो आप मेरे घर आओ मैंने अजगर पाल के रखा हुआ है yeah. नहीं मैं भी खुला छोड़ दूंगा जा मासी पे बैठे <laughs> अरे क्या हुआ मासी डंकी तो मार रहा है प्यार है घोट <laughs> घोट अच्छा से घोट मासी को गोड़, 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 सुन कर देंगे प्यार से मासी की गर्दन आज अजगू हिकी सिकीस दे देंगे मासी को यहाँ हिकीस क्या हुआ मासी थोड़ा जहरी तो है बाद में शैम्पू चूस लेगा That is true though like what he's saying about the dog like it's it's interesting when you flip it on its head and you're mm-hmm. like okay like so if i came to your house and i started licking your dog i'm like would that be okay <laughs> no it's not okay no but i guess we just give dogs a pass cuz they're so freaking cute yeah and i mean at least for me let me just retract something my dog doesn't bite people so it's different yeah like i think that's a That's I understand what you're saying. I hate when people even when I'm walking my dog too like I have this neighbor who has low key aggressive dogs and every time I walk by him I like hold my dog back and he's yeah. like they don't do anything and I'm like no your dogs have literally bit my dog. That's annoying. Yeah, it's like a lot of people are in complete denial yeah. aren't they about like what their dog is capable actually of. Yeah. like. Like I knew that my dog was a perverted ass. <laughs> and so when small children came around to my house cuz oh. it was his favorite 3 year old little kids um he would cuz he was like a little miniature poodle he, they were the perfect size for him to get up on his hind legs mount and like try and hump them and so it was incredibly embarrassing and so i knew that my my dog is a, you know a ran Mm-hmm. And so I I would have to you know put him in the other room because I was not a good pet owner and I absolutely did not know how to raise a dog properly and discipline him and But just so you know that's very natural so it doesn't that. make you a bad dog parent. <laughs> no, but I feel like you know at, now that I have more knowledge and like at the time like we were living in a, a small townhouse in Bangkok I wasn't like walking him a lot he wasn't neutered all of that mm-hmm. now i'm like oh if we'd have done those things maybe he did just been a little bit of a calmer dog yeah. in fact he was a psycho who we loved but yeah it just kept him away from children because he was yeah, perverted well, at least you did that so you <laughs> saved the children i saved the children <laughs> that came to visit me yes. at my house but you have to be a responsible pet owner yeah yeah and the yeah the women <laughs> They made it for me. Like I thought his jokes were funny, right? But I think it was like the the women who were absolutely or the one woman who was losing her damn mind at all of his dog jokes. Like mm-hmm. I don't know what happened to her. She's been through this. I she's know. been through it. I can tell. I I feel like she's like relating 150% to everything that he's saying. Or she was paid. That was a good comeback of his to be like, "Hey, I didn't pay her to be here." You want to know what I thought though? I it's funny that he said that because I was thinking it throughout the video. Really? I, I was like, "Hey, if I if like if anyone ever wanted to do stand-up comedy, and make videos like that they could probably just tell a friend like hey will you show up for me cuz like cuz all i was thinking about was like how one person cackling makes you laugh even if the joke yeah. isn't funny yeah. so if you have one person that's like a fan of yours then everyone's going to be having a good time it's true so then i was like i wonder if that's like like a like something that they do you could just hire jappy koei he has a very <laughs> infectious laugh jor jor se bol ke logo ko scheme mein bata de like if he starts laughing then i'm like Yeah. And especially when he goes on a roll uh-huh. like like that lady did where he doesn't stop and then mm-hmm. I, eventually I just start laughing cuz yeah. he's laughing. Anyway, that was fun you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, all notifications and upload this video. We will catch you next time. I'm Atara Cook. This is Katarina Sofia. Ciao.